5 Mind-Blowing Facts About France's Nuclear Aircraft Carrier Charles de Gaulle France's nuclear-powered aircraft carrier isn't just a ship, it's a symbol of global power. It's Europe's only nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, and it's nothing short of a floating fortress. Today, we uncover 5 mind-blowing facts about France's floating fortress, the Charles de Gaulle. Fact number 1. The only non-US nuclear carrier. The Charles de Gaulle is the only nuclear-powered aircraft carrier outside the US Navy. Its two nuclear reactors give it over 20 years of endurance, with no need for refueling across oceans. Commissioned in 2001, it's France's 10th carrier and a cornerstone of its naval dominance. Fact number 2. Speed and firepower. It can launch Rafale M fighter jets using a catapult system, the same technology used on US Navy supercarriers. With supersonic speed and precision strikes, it's a key tool in France's projection of force, with a top speed exceeding 30 knots, 56 kilometers per hour, it carries 22 Rafale M fighters and advanced E-2C Hawkeye surveillance planes. Its crew of 1,600 ensures round-the-clock combat readiness. Fact number 3. Europe's next nuclear giant. It underwent a massive midlife refit, upgraded radar, combat systems, and jet compatibility. It's now prepped to operate until at least 2038, just before its successor, the Pang nuclear carrier, takes over. France is building an even larger nuclear carrier, the PANG, set to debut by 2038. Designed for rapid deterrence missions, it'll solidify France's role as Europe's leading naval power. Fact number 4. Global Reach The Charles de Gaulle is more than a ship, it's a symbol of France's global independence. It has led missions in Afghanistan, Libya, Iraq, and the Indo-Pacific, showing the French flag where few dare to sail. In 2025, the Charles de Gaulle deployed to the Asia-Pacific, showcasing France's ability to project power far from home. It's a clear message in contested waters. Fact number 5. Legacy of Independence France's carriers are a statement of sovereignty. Only one other NATO country besides the US owns a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. That's France. This quits Paris in a naval league of its own, capable of launching missions without relying on anyone else. From the Cold War to today, they ensure the nation remains a key player in global security, without relying on allies. The Charles de Gaulle isn't just a ship, it's a declaration of power, of reach, of sovereignty. France's nuclear carriers aren't just military assets, they're a bold declaration of independence. What does this mean for global politics? Share your thoughts below.